What's up, man, gamers? Welcome to today's video, guys. And today we're talking about how to beat zone defense out of the Seattle offensive playbook. Okay, so we're going to be going over how to beat uh, cover three and how to beat cover four and how to beat uh, cover two sink. Okay, so some of those different defenses that uh, we'll face. Okay. So let's hop into the game here, and we'll show you. Uh, we're just going to come out in a cover six. And instead of showing you how to beat cover two, since we showed you that last video, we're going to show you how to beat um, We're going to show you how to beat uh, cover six, cover three, and cover four. Okay? So the formation we like to use to beat zone defense is from the trio offset formation. And the play that we focus on for beating zone defense is actually this wide receiver deep in play okay and this is a play that we've seen all season long it's just a really effective little play here cool part about it is you can have this little quick hitting running play you could have a couple of different other options that you can do but um, this Rams deep in is really nice because it allows you to beat zone now what you should do is a little hot route a couple hot routes here you want to put LaShawn McCoy on a wheel route you want to put Riley Cooper on a slant route and that's all you need to do now what I like to do is motion Riley Cooper about a step or two to the inside it's gonna help me beat me and man coverage and you'll see here that we're actually facing cover six and we can hit this deep post route against the cover six um, it does a pretty nice job at getting open against that void okay so that's how we beat the cover six now we're gonna show you how to beat the cover three Typically against the cover three, if they're only if there's a standard cover three, you'll be able to hit them underneath with this little underneath slant of the pass lead down, or you'll also still be able to hit it with this over to the top post route. Here you'll see that Jeremy Macklin does a nice job at getting in the open in the seams against the cover three for an nice easy inside pass lead. Click on user catch building. So that's how we beat the cover three and the cover six now we're going to show you how to beat the cover four typically against the cover four it's the same thing you should be able to hit Macklin but he's going to get hit he's going to get catch tackle it's not really a good look for an offense especially when you're trying to you know have high percentage against zone so what we like to do is wait just a little bit longer and hit this underneath slant right to Riley Cooper typically that will be a lot more open because there's four deep blue zones on the play now you ask, what is you know routes like Deshaun Jackson's route for? Situations where they may be running a cover two, it's going to be a lot easier to hit that route late. And you'll see, wait, 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 and kind of throw it into the back of the defenders. This beats cover two fairly nicely. Another thing that this does a good job of is it pulls the uh, f curl flat zones from like the cover sixes and stuff like that outside, so that we can hit this, uh, so that we can hit that post route over the top. There we got a little bit of a bad example, but I mean you'll see here, cover six, we we can throw it over the top, over the top of the defenders because we have those pull routes underneath to really do a nice job of taking advantage of that. Now one other thing, if there is a situation where they may be running a cover one man to man defense, we're gonna show you how to beat that as well. Alright, so cover one man. Okay, so we're just going to show you a cover one man. And you'll see that this corner out to Brent Selleck typically will do a nice job at getting open against cover one man. So that's why we have it in there. Now, if that route does not get open against cover one man, man, uh, man coverage, then typically from that point, we like to try to hit the running back out of the backfield on the wheel route. And you'll see that we can get LaShawn Shady McCoy in space. And a lot of good things can typically happen when that occurs. And then and, uh, lastly here, guys, the only other route that I really like against man-to-man -man coverage, the in route acts more as a pull route, and I really like this slant route. The slant route, when it crumbs across the middle, does a nice job at beating man. The post route, you could click on a user catch, but I feel really confident having, you know, two or three routes that are really good for man, two or three routes that are really good for zone, and it helps my offense stay fluent. So that's how I like to personally beat zone. We showed you how to beat cover four, cover six, cover three, cover two, and also a little bit of cover one defenses. So 
check out um, tomorrow when we come back and show you how to beat the Blitz to wrap up this scheme. Uh, we'll show you a nice red zone offense as well in a couple days. So check that out, guys. Hopefully you appreciate these videos. And if you wouldn't mind uh, liking my Facebook page, facebook.com slash madtips365, it would really help me out, and I hope that it would help you stay up to date. Thanks, guys.